at Sheraton Hotel right now and we are going for an omakase experience at Maetomo. They offer two types of uh, Japanese dining experience. You got your kaiseki and then you got your sushi omakase. And the place has like a variety of like dining options. You want it omakase style sitting in front of the chef, they have it. They also have like multiple dining, private dining rooms available. Yeah. Yeah. And apparently the decor and the, the paintings there are all like specifically made for the theme of the different rooms. We're here to check out the omakase experience on an invite from them. Mm. So yeah, let's go. If you've never had an omakase experience before, the best way we can describe it to you is you eat what the chef prepared for you. And in a sense, you have to trust the chef and also at the same time, they do check in with you. They are able to do customizing to a limited extent. They give you a variety of different uh, types of dishes for you to try. Yes. You don't have just your normal edomai sushi, which is your nigiri, the common ones you see. Mm -hmm. You also have like Osaka sushi, which focuses more on like the pressed style, using more vinegar, uh, more marinated uh, fishes, as well as cooked fishes. Yeah. And on top of that, it's not just sushi. You also have like soup, la, you got carpaccio, la, you got modern mm. style stuff which is a very comprehensive variety of different dishes you, you can try. Yeah, and also a special shout out to even the type of sushi rice they use, right? They have two different types of sushis uh, made from different types of vinegar to suit the different form of fish, which is amazing, right? So the experience also included like different sake and alcohol pairing yeah. to go with the different dishes. And Steph, I, I know you are like the most amazed with that, right? Yeah, because I didn't like some of the sakes when I was just trying it. But after I had the food and then I took a sip of the sake and suddenly everything melts together and you can, you can taste the sake better and all that, I was very very impressed at how the sake actually complements the sushi or like the dish that we're having at that time. It is not just a feast for your stomach, it mm -hmm. is also a feast visually. Yes. The dishes, the plating, everything is done so beautifully. I know at some point in time we were both going gaga over the little pottery plate they were mm. serving the egg on so beautiful yeah 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 I and love not that. just that not just the food itself even looking at the chef prepare it is like a dance it's like a ballet of hands for us it's like a performance art in yeah. front of us and yeah. it's so quiet the whole thing is so quiet because everyone is so focused on the chef preparing the sushi or the dishes right in front of you and it's quite the experience But as someone who, who goes to omakase quite often, right? This is one of the, of the most feeling omakase I've ever had. This is one of the, the, the highest amount of items. And I like the fact that at the end of it, the chef would still come and ask you, is that enough for you? So like, their main aim is really to feed you and make <laughs> sure that you get the most out of your omakase experience. Yep. What my Tomo had for me that I couldn't find elsewhere is that they are always able to come up with all these new twists and different things. There's always a fresh take on seemingly traditional sushi items. Like for example, the Kim Medai when they have it with the sesame oil. Oh my God, I've never had so it before. Good. And of course, those are the common fishes prepared in an interesting way. There's also like uh, fishes and stuff that I've never had before. For mm. example, the arc shell. Mm, mm, mm. I've never had it before and I love that one so much. Thanks for having us. Yes, thanks for Please having us. Please check out uh, Yum Chat if you haven't already. <laughs> Yes, we might shameless plug. We will talk about it. We might not talk about it, but whatever <laughs> it is, in between while waiting for the next episode, please do check out our YouTube channel. Subscribe if you haven't. There'll be more stuff coming your way, lah. Yep. All right. Bye bye.